think that is one of the reasons we have seen also uh, funds coming back, uh, which has given us uh, the strength of being uh, self-sufficient in, in our financing needs, whether it's for the private sector or for the public sector. So that has also enabled us, I think, part of it is, is the result of having a currency which is clearly convertible, which there is no way it is going to be stop being convertible, and therefore there is trust and confidence uh, in minorities and worth holders. There are positives, but there is one negative, which uh, I'm assuming you would agree. Uh, right now, Malta could not devaluate uh, from its currency to make us, uh, itself more competitive. And that's the argument in terms of attracting investments, and that's the argument many countries within the EU are using right now. Those which did not adapt to Euro couldn't or, or, or didn't yet. Um, what they say is, yes, we are more competitive than Eurozone because we don't have Euro to them always. And Malta doesn't have this. Well, you know, I, I always was a bit skeptical about the argument of the valuation fixing things because what it does is, true, it uh, reduces the cost of products produced, uh, but it also increases uh, the cost uh, of imports. Uh, and for a country like us, where you have to remember that our imports are probably uh, just 110% of GDP, as are our exports. So the, the mechanics of it is that it is very difficult to, to gain uh, and it could unleash a very strong inflation. The like devaluation was used on the ones, and this was in 1992 uh, when there was such an international turmoil that uh, it created uh, uh, an imbalance with Maltese Lira being pushed up by the bar and the, the sterling had depreciated significantly and we had to find some kind of a balance in the interest of tourism and, and manufacturing. But apart from that, we actually never really used the stone. Um, now, it is true uh, that in certain instances uh, the evaluation could be ultimate thanks to restrain the store some competitiveness. But I think that uh, uh, it, it, it imposes costs on the, all those holding money, devalues money, it's, it's not just the values, the, the, the products and the currency that you work with. Devalues is a tax on all holders of wealth. And I think in the longer term that is not uh, a good idea. Can lead to stability and other factors, disallocation of resources, and so on. Governor, you mentioned a couple of sectors um, manufacturing and tourism. There's one sector that Malta has been leapfrogging, and that's financial sector. Uh, what has happened in the past eight years to, for Malta to, to become such a big financial hub all of the sudden, actually? Well, the refugees. <laughs> yeah, but, well, what has happened in the last eight years? Where you left before? Uh, no, we, we put in the appropriate legal framework. Uh, we have uh, a very interesting fiscal uh, system that is accepted through the WTEX treaties, through our membership of the European Union, by the OECD. And uh, we have a good workforce. We, we have an uh, uh, increased number of graduates, experienced people in the finance sector. We always had a, a good financial sector here in the sense that a prudent banking system. Um, so, so there has been uh, significant uh, development. Um, I, I think that uh, uh, basically this has been part of our engine of growth. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, it's a very interesting for a lot of companies, not just in the financial sector, also uh, in other areas related to services. Um, so you, you talk about, for instance, another new sector is the aviation services. Interestingly enough, this has practically replaced the traditional service of repairing ships. Then, basically, was closed down, privatized, and it's only contributing a very small number of, of, of jobs. Uh, but instead, we have more than a thousand jobs in maintenance of aircraft. So we have moved with the times, and this is one of the factors I think that is behind all the success that it has managed somewhat. Is, but it has managed to move on up the very early chain of, of, of activity. Um, similarly, in the software sector, there is no 
called out that uh, in the e-gaming, provision of software services, uh, where being on an island is absolutely no disadvantage. So long as we have good internet links and communication links, uh, that has opened up uh, the whole world for for uh, graduates, and technicians, and people who, in my time, when I finished university, it was not very long, uh, 30, 40 years ago. So, so there, there is a complete change which has uh, shifted 